Hey guys, wanted to bring you another YouTube video about the bubble in um, Florida with the NBA. I just want to give you my thoughts of what's been going on there. And just thought um, my question would be, do you guys think it's actually one of the safest place? Recently, they did all the testings uh, for all the players and coaches. And so there's no negative um, testings or negative results. So... It seems like they have everything under control right now. Um, early on, they had a couple incidents where um, some players didn't have the right food or wanted more food. And so kind of snuck off and tried to gain some food. But then was uh, re-quarantined. So, so far, it seems like they're testing quite often, which is one of the positives for them. Uh, to be able to control and tr contact tracing if needed. Um, they've been able to put uh players quarantine again and just like in that incident um i didn't think that it would be enough because from what we've been told that oh 14 days should be enough if you ever um, had it or um, might have been in contact or been someone close so they i believe have it for 10 days um if you were so that's more of i believe the uk and europe on um for the quarantine part now, if you leave the bubble, there are some players, there's actually now three players uh, with the Clippers, Lou Williams, Patrick Beverly, and Montreal Harrell um, that left. And so, that and that's kind of hurting the Clippers um, in that case, because if, say, they get positive, especially with California, have a huge outbreak right now, um, if they go back and have to attend to like family issues or anything like that and say they get it because of travels or something like that then that could actually uh set them back because those three players they're pretty key to the clippers success and so the other issue like another team i could give you the Bro brooklyn nets they lost i would say almost a third i believe of their team that's why they had to get uh michael beasley and jamal crawford uh i don't think beasley's going to make it because of i believe uh there's some other issues especially he is technically suspended so he would have to sell out some games uh crawford is at the bubble right now um and then austin rivers just left for family emergency. So you're going to see some of those. Zion Williamson, same, same thing. Uh, if they're going to try re-enter, I believe you have to have, uh, make sure you have a ne uh, two negative tests to get back in. So if you're going to have all these protocols and you have to be self-quarantined while you're waiting for your results. So the other thing, like I said, I think it is one of the safest places because um, for now, again, things can always change, uh, because I would say it's based on if everyone follow the rules, because if you bring anyone outside, that could burst a bubble. That's what they were saying. If you bring anyone that has not been gone or gone through the protocol of making sure that they're cleared, they're, they're negative, they're asymptomatic, uh, that they don't have any the uh, of any of the cases so that's where at that point that's where they had the hotline and so that's the other thing some people are wondering are they actually going to use the hotline to actually make sure everyone's following and um, using uh, all the safety measures that was put in place I mean I would say they should because you're going to have where they could lose, I believe uh, they were saying almost $4 billion if they were not able to complete the playoffs and season for the TV rights because I believe they could sue them for not um, making uh, or just not get paid for the TV revenue. They're already losing ticket sales. So the big money is at the TV level. So if the, so, uh, there's more incentives for them to finish at this point. Um, that's why... Uh, Obviously, the players' union and the owners and everybody came together pretty fast. I think they were one of the fastest ones to come up with a plan. Um, knew that they wanted to finish out the season. 
Um, unlike baseball, I, I mean, it was great that they actually had opening day yesterday. But, again, they were one of the slowest ones to get things uh, organized and come together. I mean, look at the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, they found out from Canada that they can't play there because of, every, of everything going on. And so they just found out that they're going to be playing most of their games in Buffalo. So... You, you would have thought you had everything um, situated, and, and that's where I don't know if baseball could still finish because what happens when you go into the playoffs or even um, the World Series and you got two teams that might still have a – might be considered hot spots. Um, so then what's going to happen there? They, it's going to be really hard to travel. You would probably have to uh, consolidate and get into one central location at, like a bubble. So, um, especially at first for the NBA, we thought and questioned, well, is this going to work? Because you're going to one of the biggest hotspots right now of Florida, and you have everything kind of in place. So, uh, and are all these players going to um, follow the rules or be okay with everything going on there? But um, it seems like everything's working so far. I think after human nature, though, you got to consider, um, will you be missing your family? Are you going to be um, wanting to also try to, uh, are you going to actually be bored? Are you going to want to have a lot of other things? Or Because you're not going to have everything that you're used to having. Um, good example is like the food. And usually the players have their own chefs or have uh, their certain routine, so you kind of have to get adjusted. Will they be comfortable or uh, focused to try to win a championship? I think there should not be an asterisk also because of um, how everything's been set up because I would consider the, uh, the everything you should consider as a injury instead. A uh, tree has an injury. Know that, hey, anything could go or happen. Um, because if everything is protected and no one has tested negative, or sorry, positive, and so, and if you did test positive, they're going to get you out of there. Um, so that way it doesn't affect everyone else. So there's really no way of getting it infected if you're already in the bubble and everyone's been tested. So right now, it's a perfect scenario in that sense. Um, but again, it's going to be interesting if people keeps coming in and out, are they not going to be asymptomatic? Are they not carrying it? Um, because you got, are, are they giving enough time just in case they don't have it? So those are some of the questions that they do have to address because, um, again, it could affect the Clippers in the first round, but they have eight home games. So, at that point, they probably don't care um, about seating because they just want to make sure everyone's healthy and their their full squad is ready for uh, the first round of the playoffs. Probably, um, I think most teams are probably going to be considering that, but unless you're fighting for that eighth seat in the West, in the um, East, or positioning that could affect more, um, because there is no home court. So at this point, you don't need it. But again, I think is one of the uh, best outcome and I think everyone's rooting that this works because then that way we know that uh, the NFL could use this model the MLB and NHL will probably also use it too all right go ahead and like share comment subscribe and thanks for watching